In today's video, I want to tell you about Lake Murray State Park. Lake Murray has been a family favorite of ours for years and years. We used to go every summer with a big group of family, and we kind of quit doing that for a while, but we're trying to start our own new tradition. So I'm going to tell you there's lots of things to do at Lake Murray, but today I'm just going to tell you what some of our favorite things are to do. So first of all, if you're going to stay at Lake Murray, you need to plan way ahead. Um, the cabins book up months in advance, so I recommend that you get on that and, and really think about when you want to go and plan your trip out. We went in the second weekend of July and it was pretty busy. Um, as you can see, driving through the park, there's lots of cabins. I think there's about 56 cabins. My son had one uh, reserved, and they're, they're small, but they're pretty decent cabins. They have um, air conditioning, of course. They have a shower and a bathroom. They have a kitchen that has refrigerators, stove and an oven, and a microwave. And then outside of the cabins, they have a picnic table and a grill and a fire pit. Uh, and we used the, the outdoor grill both nights when we were there. And, uh, just had some nice downtime relaxing while we cooked out some food. For our first day, we wanted to be able to go somewhere that we could take the dogs. Um, the swim beach that's down by the marina we'll talk about a little bit later, but you're not allowed to have dogs down there. So my son planned ahead and they reserved a um, camp spot for us that's at Tips Point and it was right on the water and was just the perfect place to spend the day. Um, we had a picnic table and of course it was set up for tent camping. The second day that we were there was Saturday and we knew we had some activities that we wanted to do before we got all wet and tired from being at the beach all day. So we went and ate breakfast at the lodge. There is a, a brand new lodge at Lake Murray. I think it's only been open a couple of years and they have a beautiful restaurant that's uh, got glass all around it with a view of the lake and a huge floor to ceiling fireplace it's a really pretty environment so we had breakfast at the restaurant and then we went to the nature center and tucker tower for years ago when we used to go to lake murray tucker tower actually was the nature center but in i think 2013 they built a new nature center that is really a pretty place they have it um, where it's built with a glass wall that's on the side facing the lake and so you can see all the boats and you can see the geese and there's a nice patio behind the nature center that you can um, set and just look at the lake if you want to and so we went to the nature center and there's a lot of um, taxidermy animals and so forth and our granddaughter really thought that was cool Tucker Tower um, is really one of the places that everybody needs to go when they go to Lake Murray. Um, it was originally, I think the plan was for it to be a summer home for the governors of Oklahoma. And when you read the information, it tells you it never served that purpose, but it became a museum and a nature center. But it really looks like kind of like a castle and there's just a little um, hike that you take from the new nature center up to Tucker Tower. Now I will say if you um, have physical disabilities 
you may need to think about whether or not you can do that because it is a pretty steep hike to get up to Tucker Tower and then once you get there there's lots of stairs that take you up to the top but like I said it, it looks a lot like a castle it's really cool um, you take the stairs and there's two levels and when you get to the very top then you just have a beautiful view of the lake and it's really a fun thing to do in Tucker Tower they have a lot of little displays um, like I said it's kind of like a museum Most of the displays in Tucker Tower show you the way that the park was constructed. It was part of the WPA, the Works Progress Administration, and a lot of the architecture at Lake Murray is that natural rock architecture that I think is really pretty. So it just kind of tells you the story uh, as you go through all of the displays. There's also um, some mastodon, a mastodon skull and some bones that were found there at Lake Murray. So that's really neat to look at. Another tradition and favorite thing of ours to do is to go to the marina and the ma marina is right next to the swim beach there at Lake Murray and the fun thing that we like to do is you can buy fish food for 50 cents a bag and there's just a ton of carp that you can feed and look at while you're there and so that's always a fun thing for the kids to do and uh, the geese also come over and try to get some of the food but the fish are just huge and once you start throwing the food in they all start swimming to get it and so it's really fun to watch. As I mentioned we weren't able to uh, reserve the campsite on Saturday so we spent our time at the lake at the swim beach and it was extremely crowded. Uh, we were fortunate though, we were there long enough that as people left, we were able to kind of move and get into some better spots to have our chairs and everything set up. It's a nice swim beach though. The downside to it is you can't pull the jet ski all the way up to the beach, so you have to anchor it out beyond where the swim area is marked, so that was a little bit of a downside. but. You know, it's a really good place to spend the day as well. After the swim beach, we were ready for some downtime. So we went back to my son's cabin. And right across from his cabin, there is the swimming pool, which has been recently remodeled. You do have to be a lodge or cabin guest to be able to use the swimming pool. So if you're there camping, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that because you do have to show your key so that you can prove that you're actually a guest. 
but the pool's been remodeled. It has a kids water park just adjacent to it that has a lot of really fun little things for the kids to play on. So that that's something that you don't see at most state parks. And then across from the swimming pool area, there's kind of like a uh, water sports area. And in that area, they do have mini golf. I'm not sure how much that costs to do, but that it looked like something fun. And then they have some of the toys out in the lake that you can pay for the kids to go play on, like trampolines and so forth. So like I said, lots of things to do. So that's pretty much our trip to Lake Murray. Um, we plan to make this an annual thing to go every year. It's always a fun place to go. We always enjoy it a lot. Lots of things to do if you like being at the lake and outside. And I, like I said, we just talked about the things that we enjoy doing, but there's also lots of trails you can do. You can do geocaching, um, ATVs. I think there's horseback riding. So lots of activities that I didn't even talk about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to our channel. We're going to continue to try to put out videos about things to do in Oklahoma. Thank you. Yeah, I'm